Hello, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to do this problem from that I got from HackerEarth.com. It's called Complete String and basically um, you enter the number of strings you want to input then you input the strings and if the string contains the letters from A to Z it's going to say yes, it's a complete string and if it doesn't, it's going to say no. So let me show you how how I made the program. Okay, so the first thing we need is um the number of strings that the user wants to input. So let's call it num. Set it equal to zero in the beginning. Ask the user how many strings. Um, uh, the user is going to enter the number, and now I made a an array, a dynamic array of strings, so you do that, then you name it, let's call it string p equals new string array of num elements. Alright, so this is going to make a string array of however number uh, the user enters. Okay, so now let's uh, input all the strings, so for int i equals 0 as long as i is less than the num i plus plus okay so here the user is going to enter uh, the strings so he's going to enter string one, string 0, string 1, string 2 up to whatever okay so now um, to write the code to check if uh, the string contains every letter so we have to uh, the way I did it was with a flag. Let's start out at false. Okay, um, okay, so now we need a for loop. So for int i equals zero, as long as i is less than num i plus plus. Okay, this is uh, to check all the strings. So first things first, um, if the string doesn't have 26 letters, then it's not possibly complete. So that's the first thing I check for. It's string p of i dot uh, length is less than 26. Um, then we're just gonna see out no and end the line. Okay, so basically. If the, le if the length is less than 26, then it's not possibly uh, it's not possibly going to have every letter in the alphabet. All right, so else. Okay, so let me write this first, and then I'll explain it. Um, call the letters. As long as letters is um, less than 123, letters plus plus. Okay, so basically, um, when you convert um, letter uh, number 97 into a character, that's A, and 123 is Z, so 97 through 123 is A to Z. You can also write character. Uh, whatever equals a until it's less than z a letter uh, plus plus but I prefer to just do it this way okay so here we're gonna set the flag equal to false and then we're gonna have a uh, another for loop in here um, let's name it counting equals zero as long as counting is less than string p of i dot length counting plus plus um okay so basically this is gonna go through the whole string okay so inside this for loop we want to write if string p of i Add position counting 
is equal to uh, we're gonna um, cast the letter into a the int into a character so in here we put letters um, then the flag equals true so basically this for loop uh, sorry this for loop is gonna go to um, the string so string one let's say let's say string p of one is equal to a b c d string p of two is whatever right so this is gonna go through string one or string two so with what this does is string i so let's say this string at position counting so it would be this letter right if it was zero then this letter if it was one etc okay so if any of those is equal to uh, the character using this for loop then this is true meaning uh, it found the letter in the string right so if it finds it and it's gonna go through every letter and it's gonna go through the whole um, string then it's going to be true okay but if flag is ever equal to false then this is going to see out uh, no because it didn't find it uh, end the line and then just break meaning if it ever doesn't find the letter that means it can't possibly be complete and it's just going to break out of that for loop and just go to the next uh, string. So if it was looking at string one, then now it's going to look at string two. Okay. But if at the end of all that, if uh, the flag was true, then we're just going to see out. Yes. And end the line. Right. And. Here we just want to delete the dynamic array so to avoid any memory leaks and that should be it so let's run the program and see if it works um, F9 Sorry about this, froze. Hmm. Okay, it unfroze. Okay, so how many strings? Let's say we want five. Okay, let's enter the first one. Let's make it not complete. So, all right, that's missing a whole bunch of letters like Z, for example. Let's make the next one complete. So this one has every letter in the alphabet. Um, let's make this one complete as well. All right, this one has every letter. Let's make this one incomplete. And let's make the last one complete again. So, so it should say no, yes, yes, no, yes. And it says no, yes, yes, no, yes. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.